an academy. It's called the Academy for Venue Safety and Security, AVSS. I'd want you to know what AVSS stands for um, in, your, in your preparation. Um, know what an ingress and an egress is, page 216. And that kind of captures it for chapter um, chapter 8. Okay, now I'm going to pause for a second and see if there's anything else that I wanted to, to make you aware of. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm back with you now. And hey, listen, uh, two things, or, or, or let me mention one thing. It's getting dark here. It's about uh, 7. I don't know, 7.30, 8 o'clock, it's getting dark here on the lake, Lake Hartwell, and that's that's, that's good for two reasons. Number one, um, uh, it's a beautiful evening, the sun is setting, and it's great, and, and I've been able to enjoy that a little bit on the side or over here. But number two, it's getting darker, and you cannot see my face any longer. So that's a really positive thing for everybody that's watching this video right now. So, all right, here we go. Uh, chapter 9, Chapter 9. Um, just re prepare for those quiz, the, the quiz review questions if you don't mind. Um, I also um, have identified for you that um, on this organizational chart on page 227, figure 9-1, I, I want you to kind of understand the nature of how an, an uh, OES area um, might be organized or structured. There's an operational chart here that's provided for you, and I just want you to be aware of it. Uh, as you uh, prepare for this quiz. Hello, Mark. Oh, hey, bro. How you doing, buddy? For some peace, huh? Well, I need a little bit quiet over here. Okay. Um, what does OES stand for? We talked about that previously. And then you have several questions that are identified here in the chapters. Um, I know, obviously, what non-event risk management is and, of course, what event risk, risk management is. And... Um, There, again, again, I'm looking at the quiz questions here that are capturing most of what I want you to be, be able to recall on this exam. And there is, a, there is a section over here that I want you to get into a little bit more. Oh, when it comes to trades and craftsmen, we didn't have a chance to discuss this very much or quiz you on it, but I wanted you to know basically what a trade is and how they might impact or influence the staffing and or the, the um, facility operations and event services area. Okay. Um, Uh, I do want you to be aware of transparent event management. I don't know if that's a quiz question or not, but on page uh, page 242 at the very top, there's something on uh, transparent event management that I want you to be aware of. Okay. Again, I see a reconfigurations, conversions. What is a conversion uh, as it relates to our industry, and also changeovers uh, at the very bottom of page 242. All right, and then uh, you know what rigging is. Of course, uh, Mark West from Down Home talked to you in length about rigging, and I hope that was positive for you. Um, <laughs> all right. All right, let's see here. Um, working with labor unions down at the pa bottom of page 247, it's common practice in forming uh, public assembly facilities to have a working relationship in the form of bargaining agreement with labor unions to supply various skilled types of skilled labels, labor and unskilled uh, event staff. So just be aware of that. Um, and then at the very bottom, of it, uh, there's a little bit of more on that paragraph. All right, I'm getting uh, that close. Is that, that's the end of, of, of chapter 9. All right, so listen, I'm going to pause for a second, take a look at one other thing that I might have wanted you to be aware of. And then I might come back to you, so uh, I'll be back in a second.